everybody, Ravine of Handicapping, Thoroughbred Racing, from Parks Racing, a.k.a. Philadelphia Park, Ben Salem, PA, on Sunday afternoon, November the 13th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 7 this afternoon, folks, 2.56 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Christopher Elser Memorial Stakes, six and a half furlong sprint on the dirt, two-year-old Colts and Geldings race for $75,000. Contenders number one, Adirondack King. Number four, Race to the Top. Number three, Barbaro. And number two, X Boss. Number one, Adirondack King is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field today, sprinting at or about six and a half furlongs on the dirt as it boarded each of its four career starts to date, including back to back power run wins in its last two starts. Jockey Stuart Elliott and trainer John Service send him poster for the Sunday feature. They fit the board with 52% of their entry saddles the team to date. Number four, race to the top, comes off a blistering 16 length power run win to break his maiden in his last start, which was just the second race of his young career to date. Race 7 summary, number 1, Adirondack King tops the contenders list, which also includes number 4, race to the top, number 3, Varboro, and number 2, X Boss, 1, 4, 3, 2, in the 7th from Parks Racing, the $75,000 Christopher Elser Memorial Stakes. Bonus long shots you to ponder. Hawthorne, race four, number one. Lumberyard Jack, six to one in the morning line, drops in class by ten units. Decent overall speed. For this eight and a half furlong route test on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, race nine, entry number one, win by George. Takes a slight class drop, good speed for this six furlong sprint. So handicapping from Parks Racing on a Sunday afternoon. Repeat for day at the track.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.